is actually a part of the ACA. It's called the 1332 uh, waiver. And myself and, and some of my colleagues at the Manhattan Institute think that that is a, an opportunity for uh, HHS and the administration to re really lean in, that they could reverse an Obama-era mandate on Medicaid waivers and combine them with these state innovation waivers and give states a bit more flexibility um, in these two programs and then go to Congress and ask for additional flexibility where you might get some democratic support. So I think that state-based innovation waivers is the right way to go, give states more flexibility in terms of designing packages for their own populations, but also hold them responsible for outcomes. I think that gets us to a more steady state, both politically and from a health policy perspective than where we're at today. Now, I am a person who believes that there should be some limited state flexibility, but also let's remember what kind of flexibility has been uh, the Republicans want to give states. Those essential health benefits, we're going to chip away at them. We're not going to make you cover them. And every time you put a Republican on notice, all right, tell me which of the 10 essential health benefits you don't want covered, right? We get a very hesitant, well, maternity. I mean, we shouldn't cover maternity. No guy should have to pay for maternity benefits. After all, he doesn't give birth, right? I've never seen a pregnancy but one where a guy wasn't involved, okay? <laughs> Second, okay, well maybe we won't cover mental health or substance abuse. Really? Substance abuse in the middle of a big opioid uh, epidemic, we're not gonna make uh, covered. And mental health, we know that actually one of our big problems in the system is the fact that we don't adequately cover mental health. And we know that you know comorbidity of uh, depression, anxiety, and chronic illness it drives costs up 50% uh, for things like diabetes. A terrible, terrible, policy, but they want to give that flexibility to the states, basically to reduce the benefits uh, ad hoc uh, without a policy. And it's just, again, a matter of cost shifting, not cost saving. So I am not for that kind of quote unquote state flexibility.